Hey, I'm Matt with Grass Stains. I'm here today to show you a little bit about, uh, like they say, the devil is in the details. So uh, we do a lot of things outside, build all things outside. Uh, a lot of times I go in on new projects and I see old fence boards and if you look closely here you'll see that uh, the contractor that built this or the individual that built this they used just a standard steel or galvanized nail or hardware and what happens over time is that uh, nail and the metal in the nail actually reacts with the wood the tannins in the wood are pulled out from the galvanized or steel nail so it's either going to leave rusty stains or it's going to react to those tannins in the wood and, and leave a black streak um, to me, it's a, it's a no-brainer just to go ahead and use either stainless steel nails, screws, or a coated uh, screw. So you'll notice on all our projects what we like to do is, is go ahead and just use a stainless steel nail on like a simple cedar fence like this one. Um, but often we'll also use stainless steel screws. Uh, in my opinion, that's the best choice. Uh, it's a you know, small investment and it's not going to streak your fence. And then also, you know, you can also get away with the coated uh, deck screws you might find at your average Home Depot or retailer. The only downfall with those is if they do get scratched in the process of installing them, they can still leave that streak. So your best bet is going to be the stainless steel uh, nail or screw. So thanks for joining us and uh, check us out next week for another video.